Ireland against New Zealand, Lansdowne Road. Ireland, captained by Tom Kiernan, playing his 52nd international. Joe Caram poised. In front of the ball, as you can see from that picture. The first scrum of the game. Maloney's first touch of the ball. Kennedy strikes, going grabs. Davidson's hat forward. Ireland in their traditional emerald green shirts and white shorts. New Zealand's 25-yard line. Going Harris. A brilliant piece of robbing by John Maroney. But going tough as teak. Stealing that away, Sutherland. New Zealand have yet to penetrate into the Irish half of the field. They got roughly 10 yards to go from here. The New Zealand hooker penalised this time the front row. Tony Norton alongside Graham Whiting and Kent Lambert, of course. And that's what Ireland wanted. Loney, this time Kennedy penalised by referee Mr. Marion Joseph. Still inside New Zealand. Put by Slattery to number six. Robbing a man and doing what a good flanker should. Destroying and then creating. John Maloney then, the St. Mary's College scrum half. Always nice to see a referee giving some indication to the crowd what the offence is for, because there are so many offences, aren't there now, in rugby, which is difficult to see from the side. Allen's put in. What can we expect from here? We've got a signal between the halfbacks for Ireland. Tom Grace into the line as an extra man. And the referee telling, in fact, Willie John, that handling the ball in that situation, of course, is not allowed. So New Zealand.